Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension, and I'm doing day number three now. These are really short videos. Like I said before, I'm doing a whole bunch of them right in a row. So, day number three in the October challenge that was put forth by Brittany over at Palm Tree Bewitchery Channel um, is all about the moon. So, I thought for this topic, I'm going to bring out, because <laughs> I'm obsessed with my new tarot deck, the Light Seers deck. So I'm going to read to you the moon card. And then we can expand upon that, okay? All right. The moon. And let me put my glasses on. Where are my other ones? Okay. I don't know where they're at, so I guess I'll be using these. These are not my stronger ones. Okay. Trusting your intuition, facing your fears, the watery nature of the unconscious mind, mystery, symbolism, and metaphor, perception, uncertainty, dreams, powerful visions, a spiritual experience. And that's on the light side. On the shadow side, fears that block you, not being able to discern between reality and illusion, linear thinking, not able to process a spiritual or mystical experience, mental confusion, misinterpretation, and anxiety. So, let me put this right here. A wolf and a dog howl at the moon. One aloof. Wild and cunning, the other friendly, eager to please, and affectionate. One is hers, and from this distance, in this light, she finds it hard to discern which is which. When they both turn to her, turn to her and begin to advance, she isn't sure which one she needs to move towards. Because the struggles to see them in the dark. Because she struggles to see them in the dark. The shadows play tricks, and the illusions of light... From the reflecting water, make it impossible to see the details. Were they both running at her or away from her? She panics, imagining the worst, and she trips into the water, flailing desperately. Her mind races. Her layered dress is suddenly so heavy, and somehow her head is underwater. Sorry. She struggles, wrapping herself up in the many layers, trying to discern up from down. Air, motion, gasps. She needs air. And just when her fear is about to overtake her, a stream of light grazes her hand. The moon, she pauses, surrenders, finds her bearings. The moonlight streams down through the water, and she notices how it dances on the bubbles around her. She realizes that the moment that she stopped struggling was the moment that she began to float to the surface. She drifts in the liminal and then finally breaks through the surface. Breathing in all the magic of the moment, thanking the moon for its guidance, she reaches her shore where a wagging tail meets her with affection. The moon. I love the moon. I love the full moon. I don't feel craziest when it's the full moon. I feel I feel so um, clear, like I have deep faith in my intuition, my ability to discern. That's what the moon does to me, and the moon affects so many things on the earth, you know, like it's tides, and uh, that's why it affects our emotions, um, but yeah. Just thinking about the moon and how much I love the moon and I how much I loved this card. So that's my topic. Sending you guys love and light.